Hey guys, this is Adam with Market Monster. Today I want to show you how to set up an abandoned court flow in Clavio. Now an abandoned court flow is very, very important for any e-commerce store because around 70% of customers tend to abandon the court during the checkout process. So I'm going to show you how we've set one up here for a client, nice small business. And the trigger is obviously going to be where we start when somebody starts the checkout process but doesn't complete the order. Now, in this example here, you can see we've got two separate paths. One is for returning customers who fulfilled an order historically. So we're going to send them down this path. And the one to the right hand side here is for new visitors who first time to the store. And the reason we've set these up slightly different is because you want to treat first time visitors a little bit differently than you do returning customers. And generally speaking with the court abandonment flow, this is to not send discounts and coupons to returning visitors to maintain the profitability of the brand and also not to condition the customers to expect discounts all the time. So very, very straightforward flow, simple to set up and very effective that every e-commerce store needs. I'm going to run you through the logic behind the timings and show you the email content as well. So with the timing where we start, generally speaking, an hour after somebody starts the checkout process, if they haven't completed the order, is a good rule of thumb for most stores. If you have a more complex store, with personalized gifts, for example, or where somebody spends more time browsing on the site, then you might want to play around a little bit with the initial timing for the first email. Otherwise, an hour works fine for most stores. Anything less than that is a bit too aggressive. Somebody might already be on the site and provides a bad user experience. So we typically go in with an hour with the first email and pretty straightforward headline. You can A-B test these and we've done many. It looks like you left something behind. So first time visitors are going to get this email. So the, this store sells men's accessories. So we've got the hero image. We do A-B test these as well. Sometimes it improves click-through rates and conversion rates. Sometimes it doesn't. Again, you have to test them. Very, very straightforward. Did you forget to complete your order? No discounts at this point. And here will be a dynamic coupon, uh, sorry, a dynamic product block that gets people to return to the store. So you really just want to focus on the items that were abandoned and get that click through so the customer goes back to the store. So then we we'll wait 20 hours and we are going to go in with email to a gift for you that lasts 48 hours. So here's where we would want to include some time sensitivity with discount. So very, very simple here again, short snippet of text, Keep it direct, keep it concise. Don't have any clutter around the email. Remind them of the products that they were in the checkout process with and then just get them to action the discount and click through. You want to keep the design minimal, the text direct, and again, keep the focus on the abandoned items for maximum conversion. Now, it's very important to have dynamic coupons set up in Shopify so these aren't open to exploitation because when we go through with the next email one day later, it's basically going to be another reminder that the discount expires in 24 hours. And if they don't utilize it, then they miss the opportunity to get the discount. And it's important that you do not condition the customers to just expect discounts all the time. So you do have to have these set up as dynamic coupons that do expire. Very straightforward email automation. It's very effective. If you're using WooCommerce, you might want to play around with the timings a little bit because the store data doesn't sync as regularly in Klaviyo as Shopify does in real time. So I would recommend increasing this to around an hour and 30 minutes just to be safe because we have seen some instances where the customer gets the email even though they've purchased the product. But generally speaking for Shopify stores, an hour works great. Just to show you the second email in the flow for returning visitors. So it's just varying up the message slightly. Nice to see you again. Again, dynamic product block, just saying that we're going to hold the items for 24 more hours and then put them back on the website and asking the customer if there's any problem. 
Crucial to note, no discount on this one though, only for new customers who've never purchased before. So that's it, very straightforward setup, very effective, crucial that every e-commerce store has one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, cheers.